Help is still needed for survivors of the flood of 2019. More than 10,000 things have gone out to them already. However, the Salvation Army says it needs more donations. Thousands of people donated food, water, and clothes to the Salvation Army during the flood. Now there's another need. Local 4's Grace Runkel joins us in the studio with that. Grace? Jim, we are finally out of flood stage, and that means a lot of people are just now getting back to their homes along the river. Some of them have been underwater for months. Now the residents have a long cleanup process ahead of them. It's cleanup time for flood victims, and the Salvation Army can't keep supplies stocked. They come in the door and they go out the door almost immediately. For some flood victims, this is their second attempt at cleaning. The second crest in May set many homeowners back. Now they're really in the, the mode of getting the muck out of the homes. The Salvation Army needs garbage bags, gloves, and masks. A lot of people have mold building up in their homes. Major Scott Shelbourne says he's happy to hear some stories of life returning back to normal. One man told him he had to leave his dog with family for two months. His big joy of that week was he was getting his house close enough to be ready that his dog could come home. But many flood victims still have a long road to recovery ahead of them. The Red Cross is still out doing damage assessments because they're just able with uh, FEMA to get back into these properties to really do a complete assessment of them. It's going to be many, many weeks and months of a lot of recovery for a lot of people. The Salvation Army is also accepting financial donations. That money is going to buy dehumidifiers. We have all the details on how you can donate on ourquadcities.com. In the studio, Grace Runkle, Local 4 News.